right then guys Lambretta vlog time It's Wednesday and it's about but it's, I can't remember to be honest, it's about quarter to eight So I decided to come out because I've noticed uh, well it's been doing me heading to be honest all week we've had really belting weather I'm just doing stuff all day and then I've just sort of tended to have a beer around tea time and just get a bit, you know, a bit too too merry sort of thing to go out on scoot so I thought I'd just stay off it today so that I could go out for a little, little ride so here we are I keep wanting to go out during the day but it's really, really hot you know, like 21 degrees today and it's uncomfortable to ride and it's not great for the scooter and it runs badly to say the very least in warm weather does this so uh go on lads let's go for it so i just fancy going out um out tonight instead so here we go just trying to decide where to go really i need to get some fuel and that i need to call down to see my mother so i'll go do that now Right, my mother went in, so that's that. Right, so we're gonna get some fuel anyway. Right, so, big shout out to all of you. There's too many of you to be fair, to thank you all, but thank you all so much for getting a sticker. I've really, uh, it's really made me day when you buy them stickers and when you, just to know you're out there and all that. It's, it's great when I get a comment or just anything, to be honest, but yeah, so I've really appreciated it. Shout out, gotta give a shout out to the uh, New York City vintage scooter array. I'm assuming it's a scooter club in New York City. I sent one of you boys uh, some stickers. I'm really sorry if I forgot your name right now, but I will try to remember it for next time. So yes, I've really loved it. It's, uh, it's been really good. So uh, I've sent some to where we sent them. Sent them to America, to New York. Um, some guy in Wisconsin. Shout out to you. And a uh, guy in Norway. See what I mean? We're international, international YouTube sensation, man. <laughs> so it's really been, uh, I don't know, it's just really been, it's been a lot of fun, put it that way. Where to go? We're just going to have a little ride around. I might go up through Wake here some We'll get some fuel down here. And in fact, we won't get any fuel here. We'll get a fuel, some fuel in a bit. I think we've got enough. I don't think we're actually even on reserve. Oh, all we've got, baby. Not bad, not bad. Like I say, on the, like I said on the last one, it's getting a bit worn is all this. Ooh, sorry, guy. That might be bad. <laughs> Terrible riding that. Oops. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, like I said on the next one, I'm going to, uh, thinking of re-ringing it, but I'm not sure what size uh, piston it is or anything like that, to be honest. I can't remember if it's one mil rings or all that, but I think if I just look down the, uh, if I take carb off and have a good look with the torch down the uh, barrel, I'll be able to see on the uh, you know piston through the manifold, or through inlet manifold, and what have you. I think you should be able to just sort of tell. So I've got some one mil rings and some one and a half mil rings in carriage, so I'll just be able to like observe and compare. You can see working men's club from here. Whee. Not when you're riding a scooter though. And we all like the working men's club, don't we? Uh, yeah, so there's that to do. And then I've been looking at um, putting on the disc brake that I've had in the uh, garage for years. Like probably three years I've had an outboard disc brake in there now. I sort of started, well, hey, that was a bit slippy. Uh, gravel that. Um, got enough road, guy. Uh, I started fitting it, but I didn't like the uh, master cylinder on the bars. So I got a hidden master cylinder, and then I was messing around trying to fit that for ages, man, under the horn casting and all this. And it just won't work in out, so I ended up just taking it all off and putting the drum brake back together. They were a right mess about. Since then, I've, had, I've even had another go at it, because I thought, you know, I know slightly more about what I'm doing now, or in theory. Still couldn't do it. So I've just sort of abandoned it again. But apparently, Oil Tech, uh, according to John, Oil Tech 
is this website, or it's like a company obviously, that make bits and bobs and that. And they've got a uh, bikers over there. They've got a uh, like a hidden master cylinder bracket system thing that goes underneath the leggies apparently. So I actually had a look on the website at it, yeah, but it sounds like something that might be a goer to me. One thing I was concerned about is the uh, like the master cylinder and all that, just getting totally made up in you know in dirt and what have you, but I'm sure if I uh, put some around it, like even if you put a plastic bloody bag around it with a bit of tape, as long as everything could move freely. It ain't going to affect how it's just going to stop it getting absolutely caked in shit. You know, like the little plunger on the master cylinder thing. If that gets uh, scratched or dented, it can lead to a leak and what have you on the seal. Like anywhere else, I think. I think that's the principle. The problem that you can have is such as on, uh, you know, when you've got proper forks on a motorbike, where the, the inner tube goes into outer, and whichever configuration, upside down forks, the same, I imagine. If you get a big dent or a, like a really hard stone chip on that, the bit that slides in and out, then it can uh, wear away the seal, causing all your, uh, you know, your thingy fluid to come out of you. What is it? Is it hydraulic fluid they're putting in? Is it, they call it suspension fluid. I don't know. Don't know enough about this stuff, do I? So anyway, so once I've had a look at the website, I have another go at doing it. I've got a little bit of metal that. Uh, can envisage the bracket already. It's like with sculpture. When they look at a bit of stone and they can see a sculpture in it, you know what I mean? I can see how this bracket's gonna work for me. But it's obviously just getting it on and getting it to do it. Look, this is the bracket I'm talking about. Somehow I'm gonna get this to fit underneath here, on the other side, I think. Uh, you've got to get that mounted on it and some it to. Uh, you know, to, to receive the cable top out to pull, pull on that like work in progress. Right, what time is it? Oh, petrol's cheaper there. Cost bloody have to spend an extra two, three pence a litre there. This guy's gonna do me. We'll go up and down through town, shall we? Nice night for it though, I suppose. At least I'm out, Anna. It's nice and cool now, you know. The little bit of breeze you gave through jacket is really welcome. Shaded areas are nice and cool, we're all happy. Oh look at this petrol's even cheaper here. Oh, that's a full five pence cheaper than up the road. are always on red. There you go. I'm glad I got out really. A steady ride down through Wakey. See who's about. Wednesday night though, it's like a Saturday when it'll be absolutely chuffing evening. Lockdown or not. I haven't been back up since uh, thing. I called that a pint when I were in town uh, doing a bit of work at this. Uh, my mum's got a charity shop for a volunteer there. Well, I just hang around there for something to do sometimes when I'm not doing out. So I called that a pint the uh, other week, I went to Weatherspoons. That was an overrated experience. Don't know what big attraction is, just think, oh wow, pub's open, we just get straight there and it's just the pub. Looked a bit like you were head down going across, didn't it? But it, uh, yeah, yeah. You remind yourself that you don't want to pay three and a half or four quid for a pint of beer when it's only one pound fifty for a pint can of Stella. Which I'd much rather have. Green light, my love. Look, this is wakey. This van's doing a right somewhere, or well, so he thinks, but he don't look like he actually is. Something I used to do quite regularly, that on, uh, when I were on the, uh, what did I used to have? I used to have an MBX50 and a C90 and stuff that had uh, indicators. 
You're indicating right, mate, do you know? Sorry. All right. There you go. Yeah, what a lovely night, eh? So I might call back and see if my mother's in. So I will uh, just leave it at that. Like I say, shout out to all you super fans who have bought stickers. I'll put the uh, address in that if you uh, if you want one. Get in. Also, just remember, if you do order some, it's been a couple of you guys have not sent the uh, sent your postal address. Just like send me some cash. Uh, just to, I just said, you know, a, a two stickers please, and it's about, I don't know where to send them <laughs> every time, so no issues, can just message him and find out. So yes, if you want one of them, get on it. I've, uh, I'm on Instagram now, I can't remember who it is, is it? I think it's a guy called Kickback Garage. He's on Instagram as well. Uh, and he's put his on his, uh, looks like he's got a Series 2, a Red Series 2, or it looks like it at back end. And he's put it on his side panel. Woohoo! So he is a super fan, isn't he? That's where you want him. Yeah, so that's it really. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and all that. Leave a comment if you feel that way inclined. Uh, yeah, and if you guys know about um, brilliant ideas about putting a uh, hidden master cylinder on a, on a Lambretta, then then do tell. If you're on the Instagram and that, I think if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to send me a picture if you've got one mounted on yours, and that'd be a big help to be honest if someone wants to do that. Of how they've got it all set up and uh, what have you. Yes, yeah, alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.